So in this example, we're going to be determining a check digit. It says the figure shows a barcode for a 7.25 ounce box of Kraft macaroni and cheese. And here is the barcode right down here. The UPC A code is 0210006588831, in which the last digit, the 1, is a check digit. Determine if this is an authentic UPC code. So we're going to see if it's authentic. And what the UPC A does is it has a particular weighted scheme. And that scheme is D sub 12. And this stands for the 12th uh, digit in the UPC code. And the 12th digit here is the check digit. And that's going to be equal to negative 3 times the first digit plus the second digit, that's what these uh, subscripts mean, plus three times the third digit, plus the fourth digit, plus three times the fifth digit, plus the sixth digit. As you can see, it alternates between digits as, uh, by multiplying by three, three times the seventh digit, plus the eighth digit, plus three times the ninth digit, plus the tenth digit, and then finally plus three times the eleventh digit. And then all of this is modulo 10. So then all we have to do is, is put in the digits here. The first digit, as you can see, is zero. Three times zero is zero. Two, this becomes two. 1, 3 times 1 is 3, 0, 0, and 0, so these next three are going to be 0, 3 times 0 is 0, and then 0, 6, 3 times 6, that's 18, 5, 8, 3 times 8 is 24, then another 8, and then 3 times 3, that is 9. So then we go ahead and we add up all these digits, and it comes out to be 69. But don't forget, we have a negative out here. So this is actually negative 69. So we have negative 69 modulo 10. Now we'll, we'll take a practical approach to seeing what negative 69 mod 10 is. You can imagine here's a negative 69. Maybe here's 0. So we're here, we come back 10. Come back 10, we're at 49, 39, 29, 19, negative 9. And we come back 10 more, and we're right at 1. And of course, that's exactly what our digit is. It's 1. So it seems as though this is an authentic code for our Kraft macaroni and cheese.